I love a good fitness routine, but throw in a vacation and I can fall off the wagon. Here with some ideas on how to exercise while traveling is Kathy Kearns from Hit Labs' new location in Seattle's Central District. Welcome to New Day, Kathy. Hi, thanks for having me. Yes, so for someone that's never heard of you all, how would you begin to describe Hit Lab? So HIT is an acronym for high intensity interval training and HIT Lab has a combination of treadmills and then strength work. So we get a lot of our intensity on the treadmills doing cardio and then a lot of strength work. I love that balance. I'm so obsessed with HIT classes. I do this multiple times a week so I'm excited. And you're holding a certain item that you feel like might be good if you're on vacation? Yes, so sometimes it can be hard to find a gym or if you're somewhere that is just, you're relaxing but you wanna get a little bit of sweat on, these are tiny, you can throw them yes. in your bag and they're really, really effective. They're just kind of loop bags, loop bands and you can stretch them and they have varying um, tension. So the gray ones have a little bit more give and the black one is a little bit tighter for a little bit more challenge. That heavy hit, okay. And I love, like you said, this can go in a carry-on. So many different options with this yes. and you're gonna show me I've heard we're gonna get our sweat on. You're gonna we're show gonna me some, together. oh my gosh, okay, good. Several different exercises that you can do. Would it be like a 30 minute workout routine? Or totally, or you know, if you wanna get 10 minutes in, it's better than zero. We always just say, whatever you can get in is great. Don't give yourself you know, lofty goals or feel like you're failing if you're not getting enough. So whatever you do is enough. I love that. Give yourself some grace, but get a sweat in if you can. Yes. So I'm going to put all this down because you're going to put me to work. Which one do you want? Oh, I know. Um, I would say dealer's choice, but I feel like the black, even though it's heavy, I, I got to go with it. It matches the outfit. So, I believe in you. You can um, do it. <laughs> and does so, this go above the yes. knee or what? You can are... do both. I tend to do, that's a little bit more versatile. You have a little bit more mobility when it goes a little bit higher. So yeah, at the bottom of your thighs. So we'll start with a couple, we'll start with lower intensity exercises. Thank then you. Pump it up a little bit <laughs> and then go back down. So exactly those intervals kind of going up and down, getting your heart rate up, letting it come down. Okay, cool. so this is the first of four exercises, right? Yes. So I know okay. what I'm getting into. So set your feet about hip distance. You'll start to feel okay. that tension on your band here. And you're just gonna sidestep, never quite bringing in, you can go both directions, never quite bringing your feet all the way together. But you start to feel it out here in your gluteus medius. Ooh, everyone mm -hmm. wants that, okay. If you're having less space, you could even plant yourself and just do one leg at a time. Oh my gosh, and, and do I need to be abdomen. like, yeah, making sure my always, feet are forward or? Not a, it just has to track with your knees. So you always wanna think about your joints and having alignment in your joints. Okay. So let's move to the other side and feel those abs. You can even be working your abs yeah. here. Your abs are holding tight here. Fire up your core, people. Uh -huh, that's right. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna get into some jump squats. So just plant those feet, oh, wow. and now we're going up in the air. Okay. So inhale and then down. Uh-huh. Yes. Starting to feel that heart rate come down. Harder to talk. Yeah. <laughs> I hope everyone's enjoying this because we can't see it right now. <laughs> Let's get three more. Okay. Two more. Okay. The last one. Yes. All right. Feeling that booty yes. a little bit. I like right. that. Okay. And then we'll let our heart rate come down. Come on down to the ground. We're going to go into bird dogs. So it's a nice hinge. So a hinge motion is important for your body. You're going to take that right leg, kind of kick that heel up. And then as if you're almost like pushing a sandbag toward the ceiling. Oh, wow. That, getting, you can feel the burn. I'm regretting my heavy band. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be great, especially tomorrow. Okay, thank you. I like that positivity. Uh -huh. Tomorrow me will appreciate yes. today, Kelly. <laughs> exactly. All right, we're going to switch it over to the other side. And again, feel your abs pulling in. Okay, fire up the core. Support. I know, I feel like everybody says that. Yes. You got to remember to breathe. You uh -huh. got to remember to Exactly, your... so many small little things can make a big difference. Let's get three more here, two more, and then one more. And maybe even getting a little stretch, sending those hips back, getting a stretch. Oh. Sign me up booty. for this. Uh -huh. Okay, I like that. All right, let's get our heart rate up again. So kind of carefully come on up. Okay. And we're gonna get some split lunge jumps, which are really hard with these, but we won't be there very long because that's the beauty of it. Is it called hit. split jump? Is that what this that's is? That's what I call them, split okay. lunge jumps. So you'll kind of send one leg back, one leg forward. Yes, Ooh. exactly. I kind of like this. Is it because we're close to the ground? We're both kind of short? Yeah, exactly. Is that why we enjoy it? It kind of works for us. When you have shorter <laughs> legs, you don't have quite as far to go. Ooh. Let's get a few more. And you can also feel your quads here. Whew. 
All right, three, two, one. Whew. All right, and then one last thing. Okay. Because we've been working our core, but I know everyone loves to work that core. So one last thing is we'll come down in a plank. Okay. So you can do this on your hands or forearms. Some people have wrist issues. Is that so the why? Forearms okay. Help. I'm like, I always wonder when people yes. say, "What plank is it like?" Yes. There's not one that's okay. better than the other. It's up to you. And then just tap one leg at a time. And just look down kind of between your hands so your neck is nice and long and Ooh. neutral. Feel that tension there. And then to kind of pump this up a little bit more and get our heart rate going, we'll get into push-ups. Oh my you goodness. Ready? Last okay. one. Okay. We I got know. it. Like I said, we, we gotta get arms. To... We I gotta work on arms. Exactly. So. Okay. Upper body, lower body. <laughs> gotta balance Full it out. Full body workout with That's a band. That's right. Who so knew? the goal is to get your chest down between your hands. So just coming down Woo. and up. Elbows pointing down and back. Big inhale on the down. Oh Exhale my goodness. In the effort. Let's get three more. I, I think I was saved by the bell because <laughs> I think time might be up. Even if it's not, we're going to say that it is. Love you it. are amazing. Thank you so much. So I absolutely fine. love this. And I'm going to grab one next time I go on vacation. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much for spending time with us today. You can check out our website for more of our content. And you can always send us an email to share your thoughts. So go out and enjoy your new day. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>